Hi, we're Circle Waves. And you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Circle Waves. Hello. 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 How are you two doing? We're good. Good. Do I speak for you as well? Well, I was just like, I'll let, I'll let you do this one. All right. I'll cool. tell the next one. We're both good. <laughs> You're going to trade off throughout the interview? Is that kind of what we're doing? We've got a, we've got a system. Yeah. It works for us. See? <laughs> <laughs> Proof of concept right there. Yeah. Well, we are here in Toronto where you are soon going to be hitting the stage with the Velvet Underground. How are you feeling just to be back in Canada? Well, this is the first time we've been here as a band. Uh, so it's good. We've, um, it seems that we've been to America a few times and I can't believe we've never managed to make it this far north. But, um, yeah, we've, we've almost come a bunch of times and then it sort of ca got cancelled at the last minute. So this is our first proper trip, which is exciting. Well, welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Something very cool is you've been playing a ton of summer festivals and at one of them they actually just let during t-shirt weather a bunch of paper airplanes just flying all over the place and you apparently didn't know if this was a cheeky joke or not but you didn't know about them you didn't know those were going to come down no it was, that was all um it was in south korea okay and so someone what was a few it must have been. It, was, it was all the work of one girl she printed off like a thousand. It wasn't the festival. It was the no, no, no. She did it herself, like a thousand paper airplanes. And she put on, on like a, so on the, on the paper, it had instructions in Korean of when exactly to wow. throw them. That's amazing. Yeah, so it was, it was bizarre to watch. It was like five minutes of paper airplanes. <laughs> it was, it was I, ridiculous. I don't know how she, how she did it. Jeez. We posted some photographs when you were in South Korea and Japan. It looks like fans over there just give the absolute best gifts. Especially that cake looked adorable. So what were some of the things that you got over there? We, uh, we got a lot of flowers, like a lot of roses. Um, we got, got some t-shirts with like all our names in Korean. Uh, I got some drawings as well. We got some pretty interesting drawings. <laughs> um, what was that? I think the cake was the best one. Okay. Because it was like, everyone was wearing it was the little icing versions of each of us and everyone had outfits on that we actually wore. Yeah, they were done really well. And all the guitars were the guitars we play and it's just like, the, the level of detail was unbelievable. I know if we're going to do another switch off. Oh, my turn. Uh, yeah, no, it was just, they do like buying like loads of food and sort of like, I think they understand that uh, Eastern snacks uh, might be a bit strange to us so they just love going, try this thing. I remember like uh, getting a bag of cheese squares you see, they were like, it looked like a bag of sweets. It was just cheese. Okay. And it was like... Like crackers? And it said, and it said or? on it, eat this with your whiskey. <laughs> because they know I like drinking whiskey. And, but yeah. Did you? Uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so you won't go back to that. <laughs> Seeing that it is Wednesday, I have a bit of Wednesday wisdom from you guys that you posted on Twitter. And the thing you shared was, play guitar, write songs, eat broccoli. So is broccoli a big part of the Circle Waves lifestyle? We're big fans of broccoli, <laughs> specifically tender stem. Why did you decide to post that? It's, well, it's, you know, it's, it's just they're all good things to do. Okay. Broccoli is very good for you. Lots of protein. <laughs> um, if, if we didn't say it, then no one else would. Okay, so you've claimed it. Yeah, there's a gap in the market for broccoli-related advice, and that's, <laughs> that's where we're pitching ourselves. Well, on the music front, it's a super exciting time because Different Creatures is officially out and it's been out for a few months now. So how are you feeling now that things have actually been able to set in? You've been able to perform these songs live over the last while. Uh, it's been like, it's been different to the first album cycle. I think uh, this one, I f we feel like more assured as a band and these songs sound bigger. So it's kind of like, it, I, I'm having more fun playing them, I think. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's more, it's less sort of running around, it's more it's power stance. <laughs> Based, yeah, I've gone for more of a pose-based performance. Yeah. Rather which is than a, a lot less uh, tiring. Yeah. We can do more shows. <laughs> yeah, I, like we don't get like bad backs anymore. <laughs> it's great. You mentioned there how it's different and a bit bigger, and I do feel like you definitely took a heavier direction with this album release, and you're apparently a little bit worried before putting out that fans maybe wouldn't connect as well with the bigger sound, but they clearly are. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you... you I suppose whenever you release any new music, you don't know how it's going to go down. But I think the fans that we have are so loyal and sort of, I don't know, they seem really willing to follow us. I was a, I was a bit disappointed. I thought there was going to be like, what? I thought there was going to be a bit of a stink. And then we put it out and everyone went, oh, that's great. And I was you like, were disappointed. Yeah, I was just like, I wanted some people to be like, oh, what is this? I hate you. You've ruined my life. But they just went, oh, that's great. Well done. So I think we have to... Try harder next time. Try harder to disappoint. Yeah, fans well, I just, next time. I just want some of them to have been like, "What is this?" But 
that didn't happen. Okay, interesting logic there. Yeah, that's, that's just the way I look at it. I don't know why. <laughs> There's a song on the release that I'm really digging called Stuck that was apparently inspired a bit by reality television and just how annoyed some of the band members are with it. So what about it? Was there something in specific you were watching that just got on your nerves? Or? Um, well, we, we've been talking about this show in England called Snog, Marry, Avoid. But we were okay. talking about it the other day. Yeah, that was an old show. But we're actually we're actually quite a fan of that one. Uh, there's there's <laughs> yeah, I don't, there's an awful one that um, Love Island in the UK. I haven't heard of either of these. Just attractive people rutting on an island. That's all it is. It's just like an excuse for personal trainers to have sex on camera. It's bizarre. Okay. But it got huge for some reason this year. Yeah, it's massive. Is that something? Uh, did you watch it? Like, it's one of those things that are so bad no, that you have to my, watch no, it. No, my or? girlfriend watched it, and I just I had to. Oh, my I had girlfriend to leave, left me the watch room. it. No, I left the room. I I live I live in a I live in like a small <laughs> flat in London, and I just had to go to the other side, <laughs> to bury my head somewhere. What are some shows that you've been completely suckered into that you wish you hadn't, or it's a little bit embarrassing to admit, but you've you've watched it. Reality shows or... Just not, shows anything. on television, anything. Guilty Pleasure TV. You've got loads. I've got loads. Uh, I mean, Drag Race is classy. That's not even Guilty Pleasure. That's just a work of art. Mm. Uh, there's a, there is a reality TV show, like a Japanese one, called Terrace House on Netflix. Okay. Which is excellent. I used to watch a lot of um, Next Top Model. Really? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> okay. I absolutely, and it wasn't even with my girlfriend. I just, <laughs> I just secretly loved it. It was great. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. That was the one that was that was the one for me. How many seasons? I did like four seasons. <laughs> that was what I was gonna ask. How long did you watch yeah, for? Good it was a good period. I was a student. What I, stopped you? Was it the tour life or I think I just I just suddenly went, What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing in my life? Reality hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just wanna do a quick fire round with the two of you where you just say whatever comes to mind first, alright? Right. Okay, so first one, what's the best thing a fan has asked you to sign? Uh, I signed. A lot of, I signed. Um, I signed a vape the other day. Oh okay. yeah. Shoot, we did a lot of trainers as well. Really? Yeah. yeah. Foreheads. Did a forehead recently. Did you just see them walk off? I, I I couldn't imagine that meeting. Like you sign a forehead and then they just walk in the opposite direction with your signature. Yeah, it's a bit odd. It's like, yeah. do, I, do I own you now? Did, did is you, this like a thing? Did you sign something and then someone got it tattooed on them? Oh yeah. Uh, Where no, was that I, on them? I wrote, that we all wrote down some of the lyrics to one of our songs from Chasers, and we gave it to this, a fan of ours, and she said, whichever has the best handwriting, I'm gonna get it tattooed on me. And then the next time we were in Paris, she came to the gig, and she was like, oh look, I've got it. <laughs> you were the my lucky winner. <laughs> so I've added tattoo designer to my CV now. Okay. Which I think is technically true. I was good, I didn't win that. <laughs> yeah, it was like genuinely like, I really wanna win this. Yeah, it was a little competition this. between yeah. you guys, yeah. right? You're a great penman. Yeah, my penmanship is second to none. <laughs> well, for the next one, if you were a wrestler, what would your in-ring persona be? How would you want to be perceived? I'd be like a librarian. It's really, really quiet. <laughs> Just no chat. And then, and then as soon as I'm in the ring, mm -hmm. pain. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I don't, I, yeah, I can't beat that. No, that was that good. One. Yeah. <laughs> You tell that one. Yeah. Right. Next time I see you guys, it's just going to all be librarians across the board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the last one, if you could have any superpower while touring, which one would you really love to have to adapt to it? Um, I'd like to have an off switch. If, okay. if that, I don't know, is, that, is that a superpower? Well, you, it's your superpower. You can make it whatever yeah, so you want. Yeah, so I just reach into the back of my head and I flick a switch and, I just, and then I just get turned off until I'm needed. Sometimes that would be good. Because you know, like <laughs> today, like today was a day where, like, we were just stuck at the border for like, hours, and sometimes it's just, I just think, you know what? If only it's as easy here. as that. Yeah, <laughs> and that would be my superpower. But do, would you need someone to switch you back on? It'd have it's a true. timer. It'd have a, I could set a timer. Okay. But okay. only I could set. Let's hope it. it doesn't glitch. It's because it's magic. So I just set it in my head, and then I'd, it'd be done. What like can people fuck with you while? It's true, like, do you go in, do you have, like, this imaginary uh, shield around you, or? Yes. I imagine the band members would have some fun with that. Yeah, no, so the shield was a, probably okay. an important part of it. Okay. I, would, I, would, I would dress you up in a, in a load of hats that didn't suit you and take photos. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all things, hats. Yeah. You're not a hat, I know, you were a hat man, you were a hat for a I, bit. Yeah, I was a hat guy for a while. A hat and then man. I got, I got the piss taken out of me, so I stopped wearing them. What happened? Just these guys, you know, you can't, oh. you can't, like, you can't do anything nice. 
You can't do anything nice around these guys. You yeah. can't go, oh, you know, I've got this nice new if hat without them going, you look like an idiot. If you love something, it will break, will break you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look good. Nice hat, you idiot. <laughs> so I don't wear it anymore. What would you want yours to be? You look really good in it. It's a shame. Oh, wow. <laughs> now you hear that. It's too late. But if he wears it again, I'm not going to tell him that. Yeah. Okay. Full offence. How about for you for powers? That was a pretty good one. Well, we, we were discussing that one today. I feel like I, I kind of agree with it. The, um... I don't know really. I think I just I'd like to just not sleep. I'd like to be able to not sleep. That'd be good. You know, so I could. It's like it's like the off switch, but without the switching off. Is the it's off. probably a better. It's probably a better way of handling that. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. No need to sleep. Okay. And then just to wrap things up, I want to bring it back to the fans. Anything you would like to say to all of those viewing? Fans around the world. Fans in Canada. Anybody watching? Hello, fans. Hello, fans. Thank you for being fans. Uh, we'll, we'll probably be on tour at some point next year again and have some new music coming out. So when that happens, we can all like, meet up and have a gig and it'll be good. Don't just be fans. Be friends. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> friends. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. It was a delight, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.